Hi everyone, welcome back. Today's video is about oogenesis. If you want to skip to any particular section of this video, you can do so by clicking the timestamps found in the description section below. Please also make sure to subscribe to our channel as this helps us out a lot. Okay, let's get to the video. Oogenesis is the process by which female gametes, also known as ova, are produced. It involves a series of cellular events, including both mitosis and meiosis, which occurs within the ovaries. We will discuss oogonium formation, primary and secondary oocyte formation, and mature ova formation. Let's consider each in more detail. Oogonium formation, mitosis in oogenesis. Oogenesis begins during fetal development when primordial germ cells migrate to the developing ovaries. These germ cells undergo mitotic divisions to proliferate and increase their numbers. The germ cells are known as oogonia. This proliferation phase through mitosis ensures the presence of sufficient number of precursor cells for the subsequent stages of oogenesis. Some oogonia differentiate into primary oocytes during fetal development. This involves meiosis. Meiosis is the specialized process of cell division that reduces the chromosome number by half. This results in the formation of haploid gametes. Meiosis occurs in two phases, meiosis 1 and meiosis 2. Meiosis 1 initiates during fetal development but arrests in prophase 1. This arrest occurs until puberty. At this stage, the primary oocyte derived from the oogonia are arrested. Upon puberty, some of the primary oocytes resume meiosis due to the influence of follicular-stimulating hormone. This is also known as FSH. During meiosis 1, homologous chromosomes pair up, crossing over occurs, and the cell divides, resulting in the formation of two daughter cells with the haploid chromosome complement. One of these daughter cells receives most of the cytoplasm and becomes the secondary oocyte, while the other daughter cell, called the first polar body, contains minimal cytoplasm and eventually degenerates. Meiosis II the secondary oocyte, now arrested at metaphase 2 of meiosis 2, contains a haploid set of chromosomes and is ready for ovulation. In response to a surge of luteinizing hormone, also known as LH, the secondary oocyte is released into the fallopian tube. If fertilization occurs, the secondary oocyte completes meiosis 2, yielding a mature ovum and a second polar body. The mature ovum contains a haploid set of chromosomes and is capable of fusing with a sperm cell to form a zygote. If fertilization does not occur, the secondary oocyte that is arrested at metaphase 2 of meiosis 2 is discarded from the body via the process of menstruation. And that's it for this video. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please make sure to like and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye!